Thanks for waiting for me to clock out, and uh, also for enduring my co-workers teasing. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that ramen shop I was telling you about is just a five minute walk from here. All right, allow me to escort you, my lady. <laughs> Aww. You roll your eyes, but I can see that blush. Something tells me it's not just the chilly air. All right, Carmelin. You finally got a date with the girl of your dreams. She's laughing and you are somehow not stumbling over your words. I can do this. I can show her a wonderful time and it will lead to more dates and a relationship that will last till death do us part. Yeah, what am I saying? One step at a time. I don't want to sound like some crazy yandere. Oh, uh, sorry. Just got a little lost in thought there. Yes, I like this time of year too. The leaves changing color along with the cold, crisp air is wonderful for walks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It is kind of like a lo-fi background on YouTube. Ooh. Okay, maybe a little too chilly. <laughs> um, did you just say the p cold weather is perfect for cuddle cuddling? Oh shit, is she too cold? Should I have gotten us an Uber? No, she said she would love to walk with me. Maybe she wants us to hurry? <laughs> Ah, uh, that's my, um, that's my hand you got there. You, you thought my hands looked cold? Well, I didn't bring gloves, so yeah, they were a little chilly. N no, I, I, I don't, I don't mind if you hold my hand at all. This is more than okay. This is wonderful. Hands are so soft and tiny compared to mine. So warm, too. She's like an adorable little heater. Ah, oh, this isn't fair. You adorable little nerd. I told you I was gonna see that cute blush all the evening, not make me blush. Well, I guess I should thank her for such a sweet gesture. Hmm. What am I doing? I am thanking you for keeping my hand warm. Aw, did kissing your hand make you flustered? <laughs> okay, okay, I'm sorry. I'm just, you know, excited. I have liked you for such a long time. I'm having a hard time believing this isn't just one of my daydreams. Although, even if this is a dream, I... Really hope I won't wake up anytime soon. Ah, here we are at the ramen shop. Uh, please, allow me to get that door. Hello, yes, do you have a table for two available? Ah, perfect. Thanks. Yes, I'll take a Thai tea boba, please. All right, thank you. So, have you ever eaten at a ramen shop before? I know you like anime. After all, we talked about how ridiculously good the food always looks. Oh, nice. I like a good shoyu with the chashu pork. Yeah, I hear the miso is pretty good here too. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. We can both order something different and try a little of each. I'm surprised you're okay sharing food on a first date. Oh, I see. You came from a big family, so you're used to sharing. That makes sense. I could have sworn you mentioned a sister once or twice. <laughs> yeah, I remembered. 
I think she even came in with you once for a visit. You guys looked a lot alike. I can tell you two are related. Me? No, I don't have any siblings. I do have a cousin who's like a younger sister. It's not the same thing, but the bond is still there, you know? Yeah. I guess that is one way to look at it. If she drives me crazy, which she does, it doesn't matter whether we're biological siblings or not. You can have that bond with someone as long as the time and memories are there. Huh. I'm happy you see things like that. You're always so positive. It's probably why I like you so much. <laughs> what? It's the truth. You may not be as loud as some of my customers, but when you do that small smile while you draw, or when I did really good with your coffee, huh, there's genuine happiness in it that I can't look away from. Oh, fuck. That didn't sound creepy at all. I can't look away from you? Who says something like that when they're on a date? Huh. She's smiling. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen her smile like this before. It's so bright and warm. You thought the same about me? What do you mean? You watch me in the cafe with customers? And you really like how genuinely kind I am to everyone? But it... It's why you started to like me in the first place. Jeez, I... I never would have guessed that all this time... When I was too swamped to admire you, you... You were admiring me? Ah, yes, we are ready to order. We'll start with some dumplings and, and I'll, I'll take it. Wow, that was the best ramen yet. I might have to switch to a new favorite flavor after trying yours. <laughs> yeah, I, I guess you're right. We can keep ordering one each next time we go there. Together. Oh, do you still want to go see a movie? I can check on my phone, the nearest theaters, and we can you know, see what they're still playing. You don't want to go see a movie. Um, that's okay. What would you like to do instead? Oh no. What if she wants to cut the date short? Was it something I said during dinner? I don't want to say goodbye just yet. Oh. You want to do something where we can actually talk to each other. No, that's not silly at all. I, I, I actually want to just keep talking with you, too. Well, we can get something warm to drink and continue walking around. The city put lights on all the trees, so it's a nice walk. Oh, yes, I like wine. Ah, uh, <laughs> I, I would love to have wine with you in he, your apartment. Uh, how far is it? All right, well, lead the way, darling. This is not a drill. She's inviting me into her home for wine and cuddling on the couch. Oh, this can't be real. I must be in one of my fantasies. Ow! Hey, what the hell? Why did you pinch my cheek? Oh, I was spacing out instead of moving? Sorry, I lost my train of thought for a moment. It's fine, I promise. 
Now, please, lead the way. As much as I enjoy holding you close under these lights, you and I under a fuzzy blanket sounds like heaven. Thank you again for inviting me. Your apartment's very nice. Just hang my coat here? All right. Do you want me to get the blanket while you get the wine? The bedroom is the door by the couch. Got it. Big fluffy one on your bed. All right, meet you back on the couch. So, this is their room. It's very neat. <laughs> Do I smell apple pie? Probably candles for the season. All right, focus, Farblin. There's the bed. There you are, one big fluffy blanket. Ah, there you are. Thank you for the wine. <laughs> Comfy? Hmm. I'm so happy I chased after you earlier. If I didn't talk myself into it, I, I wouldn't be snuggled up with you right now. Hey, <laughs> it was their loss for not showing up. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't happy that they were so dumb. It gave me the opportunity to finally ask you out. I wouldn't be able to feel your warm body pressed into my side. And hear you laugh as I tell my horrible jokes. Wouldn't be able to look into those eyes like I am. Mm. Mm. Baby. Mm. Ah, baby, the wine. I'm going to spill. As much as I am enjoying your kisses, I would hate to stain your couch. There we go. Now then. Come here. Hmm. Now, <laughs> you are on my, um, my, my lap. No, I don't, I don't mind. I'm all yours. We can do whatever you want. Mm-hmm. 